It's always that same stressful moment starting this damn thing. Hey, kitties. Hey, now. Look, I see all of you jumping in the chat room already. I saw, I see North Ames Skaters. I see Red Oso. I see Robert Barnett. And I see my main man, X to the Z. And listen to this. I got some really good news. I, I got my, my buttons. I got my buttons again. D in the B. <laughs> That wasn't the first button I was trying to press, but <laughs> maybe I should have went with some James Brown. One, two, three, four. Get up. Oh, I'm so ready now that I got my buttons back. Okay, look, I see Happy Juice up in there, Brandon Martin, Scotty C. Hey now, oh, I just thought of that. My Hey Now button is the only one I didn't put back in. I put in all those Stupid James Brown sound effects. Moving, doing it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Moving, doing it, you know. But I didn't put the hey, I got the hey now button that we had to save something for next time. That's gonna be the hey now button. But look, we got Anthony, hey now. John Hall, hey now. Dennis, hey now. I'm just gonna have to give real live hey nows. But tonight we're gonna do, look, I got all these fancy spill cup things right here that I got on Amazon with all these different things. I got some other spill cup things that we can use. Look at all this spill cup, this all this spill cup stuff I have. And I spent Christopher, hey now. And look, I got this little guy right here that we're going to get funky with. See him? I'm showing it to the wrong camera. <laughs> There's Big Bob up in here. Hey now. And I spent like half the day like freshening up all of my Floetrol mixes, okay? So I got like every color all ready to go. And we're, what we're gonna do is four, maybe five, but probably four different, here, let me turn this so that like, there, I'm not like totally black, blocked by the chat stream. Blaine, hey now. Let me give another, let me just squeeze another one. Good so good! So good! I'm so excited about having my James Brown sound effects back. I can't even tell you. Let me get it. Let me get too funky up in here. Let's get too funky in here. Okay, so we're gonna do a handful of different ones. All right, I'm gonna do Red Oso. Hey now. Yeah, no hey now button. This is gonna be all real live. Hey nows. Hey now. Just like that. Okay. First one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave all these fancy spill cups that I just showed you off to the side. And we're gonna do like the traditional easiest one you can do. So I got this like smaller version of, uh, you know, the, the cups you, go, you get when you go to every college party. This is a smaller version, it's like 10 ounces. And then I got all of my, my guys over here. What I'm gonna do, I'll just say it first and then we'll do it together. I'm gonna pour a whole bunch of this crap in there and then put the frisbee on it turn that sucker over and then we'll do things but the first thing we have to do is to fill this sucker up with some flow colors okay here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna flip 
the camera now. Wait till you get ready, because here comes the transitions. Oh my god, that's so high tech. Sean Conway, Hippie Juice, Happy Juice, E.T. Baker, hey now. <laughs> hey now. Alright, I'll give you a James Brown one. Foggy as you want to be. Okay, so we're going to fill this bad boy up with a bunch of colors, and now you can see it while it's happening, too. Maybe I should pick some of the colors out first, and then, like, I got them all ready. How about a little neon royal purple, clear orange, neon cerise pink, bright yellow, cherry, black and red. Sean, the camper is on the Peter Bonk. Hey, now. Oh, and there's my main man, Adam Gallant. Hey now. The camper is on the fritz right now. My inverter busted. Uh, so I decided to wait till after the winter to fire it back up, which we're officially after the winter. And I'm like a couple days away. Oh, hey now from Norway, Eric. T. Diddy is all sorts of international right now. Yo, someone tell me if the background music's too loud, okay? Because I can't hear it. All right, so here's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start, because this thing's never going to end if I don't shut up and start dying discs, right? So I'm going to start pouring colors into this cup. But here's how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to just like squirt it down on the bottom. I'm going to shoot it on the side of the cup. I hope you can see that. So that it like hits the edge. And then just fall, like slides down in there, okay? This matters more as we start to get through the rest of the colors. You know what? I want a darker blue, too. How about iris? This matters more as we get through the rest of the colors, but the idea is... Oh, John, you're a total dude. John, you're getting... Let me just find, like, my baddest-ass James Brown sound effect. Give me more! Okay, wait, bad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look, these sound effects are from my favorite song, Super Bad. But, like, I got them in order, okay? So I'm going to play them in order. Now, when I say hit it... I want you to hit it. One time. Uh. Good God. Now I'm going to ask for two. Can you give me two? Two times. Uh. Oh, my God. It gets me going every time. Three times. Uh. Good God. Give me more. Uh. All right, that's enough. John, that was three. You got the whole sequence, bub. I really, I really appreciate you, big dog. All right, look. Now the next color is going up in here. And I'm doing the same thing. See, I'm squirting it on the side of the cup. If you can see it in there. There, I'm turn, trying to turn it towards the camera a little bit more. But, like, the idea of, of getting it on the side of the cup like that, instead of just squirting it straight down in there, is to prevent them from, like, mixing all up right now. We want them to kind of, like, stay separate. So, that move where you shoot it on the side and let it slide down helps do that. You can see inside there how there's, like, that really delineated line between those two colors. Next, in's going some yellow. Oh my god. Okay. It's so dangerous leaving all these caps off. Alright, I got some... You think maybe we should do a layer of black? Let's do a layer of black. I got the black right here mixed up in this little Dixie cup because the black is the only one... But I got a little silicone in, okay, which maybe we'll get, you know, some funky cells through it as well when it mixes up. This is Dark Dungeon. Okay, look, and I, I did this for everybody because I know someone's going to ask, what is in your dye mixes? So I made this little thing right here. Oh my God, I'm so high tech. Oh. So that's what's in this dye mix, okay? I'll say it out loud too. First thing is, in goes the prochemical and dye powder. And because these are 12 ounce McSquirterton bottles here, I used a teaspoon and a half of the dye powder. I use a half teaspoon per four ounces of it usually. These are the biggest containers I have that I make dye mixes in. So... The full teaspoon and a half. All right, how about a little pink up in there? And then after the dye powder goes in, I drip in enough steaming hot water to wet all the powder. And then I shake that up as much as I can to turn it into like a liquid mud as opposed to a dry powder. Because then when you put the flow trawl in, that helps the dye mix 
the dye powder mix so much more evenly through the flow trough. So that steaming hot water, it's only for the sake of wetting it down and turning it into a mud so that it mixes through easier. And then in goes the 12 ounces of flow trough, and then you just shake the crap out of it for a long time. I did 13 of these bottles, so my shake arm is pretty strong right now. A little more yellow on top. We're starting to get close to enough dye in here. Oh, there's my man, Justin the Looch. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a bit, big dog. Citizen Zombie, hey now. Yeah, X, you saw the old man's up in here this time. Oh. Oh, I just squirted a blop of s some bloppy stuff in there. Okay, look, I think we got enough of this in here. I mean, okay, now here's, this is where it starts to get kind of exciting for this technique. Take the cup, put that sucker right there like that. Then take your Frisbee or pan or whatever you're doing. And now you gotta hold the two together, okay? And then this is the part that's so crucial. It's a quick flip, okay? Quick flip. Bang, like that. Okay, I've done better because I, I didn't stay in the middle. So I'm gonna try to just move it to the middle without lifting. Okay, oh my God, there's so much tension under there. It just wants to blow. Okay, now here's the next move. I'm gonna take some white flow trawl. White flow trawl, that's what color it is. You know, instead of the squirt bottle, I'm just gonna take my flow trawl bottle here. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Justice, hey now. Man, I haven't seen Justin up in here in a minute. It's good to see you, buddy. From Disc Golf Talk with Justin Sane. And I'm gonna just pour a little of this flow trawl around the outside like that, okay? Just like that, to contain the schnizzle up inside, okay? And now, look, there's like a million ways. Oh, I should turn my hat around. Viewers on all three platforms, thank you for pointing that out. I love it when we're cross-streaming all three ways. How about a different Too Funky? That's <laughs> a short one. Watch me. I got it. Hey! Okay. We got all three platforms, baby. It's because I'm high tech, Bobby. All right, now, look, there's a million ways that you can do this part. You can lift it like slow, like a little bit, and just let some of it start to bust out. Like, watch, as I start to tilt it up this way a little bit. Look at it starting to like, one, oh yeah, starting to like just bust out of there. All right, or like you can, there's plenty in there, I can still do it. You just go crazy and lift that sucker right up like that. Let me just swirl some of these guys on here. All right, now I should have, oh look, I got it right here. Here's what I should have done in advance. Bring a trash can over, but instead we're gonna go like this. And I'm gonna set that right there. Okay, now, here's what I got over here. It's kind of, there's like a spider web of cords and extensions over here. Okay, can you see this sucker? I know you've heard that, because it's on the same table as the microphone. I'll bet you that sounded crazy. Wait, I'm a little tangled here. Let me do a little untangling. Time out. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Let me just hit a little bit. Okay, now, like we got this funky design right here. I know it's crazy and non-Euclidean and looks all sorts of wacky. There's already little cell things going on there, but you don't need one of these airbrush machines. Relay, hey now, para, hey now. TJ, hey now. Oh, TJ's my man who told me about the three platforms. All right. Like, you can just use a regular straw. See, I got a straw right here to do it with, too. Here's my problem with the straw. I always end up drooling and getting slobber in there. And sometimes I get lightheaded, okay? I'm not going to lie about that. But I'm just going to take this, a little some of this action. Around through the design. 
design. Oh man, I love this. That's what color they really are. <laughs> Sorry about the airbrush sound. I know, but all right. Look, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk some slobber, and I'm gonna do it with the tube, just for that. Okay. See the thing about the, the blow tube, you do have way more control. But it's easy to just like get way at it and then not realize what's going on and start to get super light at it. All right, here's another thing I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna bring in a little, you know what? You guys have all seen, you've all seen, you've all seen that. I'm gonna just take that down. Let's get a little heat in here. Okay. Now, because this is the one that has silicone and it's gonna do some selling, I think what I'm going to do is just let this puppy sit for a minute or two while we make the other beds, and then we'll bring it back and see what it really looks like when the time comes, okay? So I'm going to take this, set it over here in a safe place. Oh, it's nice and level, too. I love that. All right, now I'm going to get another Frisbee, and we're going to do another one, okay? First, I got this one. We're going to start with putting the flow trawl in first instead of last time how we like went around the design with it that's probably enough we don't need a ton we want just enough to cover the bottom of the pan and <clears throat> not so thin that we're you know that you're concerned about not being able to float the disc, but we are going to add more flow trial. I'm just going to pop some of the bubbles that are in there. Okay, and now the next one, you get, some of you guys may have seen this, and like most of these designs, I didn't just like figure them out on my own. Some of them, you know, you just figure stuff out as you go, but you know, I checked, did the same thing you guys do. I checked out some YouTube videos. Um, so I looked at one for a while that was like a bunch of acrylic pouring techniques, and that's where most of these come from because it's like the same thing. It's like the same thing as acrylic pours. So I cut the bottom off of a ginger ale bottle. Of course it was ginger ale. Ginger ale's making a comeback. Um, and, you know, and then I, I leveled it off there. Okay, so you can see that good. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to smash it right in the middle of this bad boy. Close to the middle. And press it down. Okay? Boom. You're with me so far. All right, now this this makes, you, are, you can already see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pour crap in there and it's gonna cascade down all the different sides and make like this really cool petal-like design, okay? Let's start, let's start with Iris, why not? You know what though? Here's what I'm gonna do. I got these Dixie cups. I don't trust myself squirting this clean and even over top of that so the dixie cups will make this way easier let's do iris and yellow baboom oh loves pit bulls hey now i love pit bulls too let's do some of this caribbean no that's neon purple where's the Car here's the caribbean blue some of this Caribbean blue. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? The lid just popped. Oh, that could have gone so much worse. It already went pretty bad. There's blue everywhere. Oh, I told you this was going to be a mess. Oh. Oh my gosh, that could have gone so much worse. It is all over the turntable. Some, mostly. Set that there. You know what I did before I started this, just to be safe? I put a, a, a beach towel down on the ground underneath. And thank God I did, because I just got that Caribbean blue everywhere, man. Okay. 
And the good news is I can just throw those paper towels on the ground too because... Oh my gosh, I told you this was going to be a total mess. That was, though was the container failed. My McSquirterton bottle. Alright, I'm going to hold the lid on. Finish pouring the Caribbean in there. Oh man, that could have been... <sighs> Alright, look, I'm going to show you something. Yeah, Brandon, let's, uh, here's, uh, here's, the th here's the thing. I'd be lying if I didn't say, look, I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but look at my jeans. That's from me making them earlier. It's one of the caps came off and got, got the, oh, you understand how it went after that. It went, <laughs> it's way too funky. Now I'm going to ask for two. Can you give me two? Give me two. All right, let's, let's try this again without, I'm going to hold the top on while I squirt it out. Okay. How about a little dark dungeon? In one. Yeah, I probably could get better condiment bottles for this. It screw a little tighter. All right, I got pink, I got blue. I got purple, I got black. Let's do an orange one too, and then we'll start pouring these suckers. Because watching me do this much is boring. Okay. Okay, let's start this. I'm starting with the orange. Now, I'm aiming for the center, but you always kind of got to send it down the side a little bit. Just pouring it in the center doesn't always make it flow 100% right. Alright, orange. Let's switch over to this color. Which, now that we're rolling, I'm going to have a hard time telling these apart. Come on in! Your nope, still going, buddy. That's okay. Alright, there goes the blue in there, and you can see that starting to develop. And then I'm going to put this one here, which is pink. Like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We need another James Brown sound effect right away. Times I feel so nice. Good God. I jump back. I want to kiss myself. Uncle Bobby. That was a good one. All right. How about some yellow up in there? Oh yeah, see? Can you see it starting to take shape? Yeah. This one's kind of hypnotic to watch, too. It just looks so cool, kind of cascading down over the edges like that. Alright. I'm going to save the black. I'm going to go back to this red here. Mm -hmm. What did I do after the red last time? Blow. Oh, big glop came out on that one. We'll see if it... <laughs> You're lucky when those blops, if, like, if they just sink when they get there. But otherwise... Okay. What's after blue? Pink? I'm not see I'm not concerned about it b being like even or uneven. That's not like if if you stress on the, the, these never come out even. So anticipate it being uneven. And then, you know, just make that part of the funkiness. Okay. 
Okay, now back to this one. Oh my god, I almost dropped the iris all over the place. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I told you, this crap, like, you gotta have a whole roll of paper towels ready when you're doing these. Because this stuff's a total mess. Okay. I'm gonna just keep pouring and make it bigger. Oh yeah, that was a big blue. You can tell I'm sort of falling into focus here. I'm way into how this design is coming out. Okay, I'm gonna keep it going. This is after pink. After pink was yellow. So before I started the live stream, this is something worth saying. I spent like five or ten minutes making sure that my turntable area was level. So I have like a whole bunch of little things wedged under different corners that I was, fin you know, finagling to make sure. Because with this, with these kind of beds, with this flow trawl. The viscosity is so low. You know, this stuff wants to just like slide and slip and twist all over the place. So if if your if your workspace isn't level, like you'll it'll it'll let you know because the stuff will go sliding all the way to the wrong side of the pan. Alright, look, I'm getting this paper plate that I had earlier with the, with the other flip cup on it. And I'm gonna try to pull this bad boy. Maybe I'm gonna set this down. Oh my gosh. That was like a, a Jenga move right there. Alright, I'm going to try to pull this quick and clean. Alright, this is another one. Kind of like that flip move that we did. That you got to be like... And just yank that sucker. Okay, like a scab. Bang. Quick and clean. Alright, now I know some of you are like, Well, what the heck are we going to do in the middle now? That looks... Kind of stupid. All right, this is where you got to get a little more funky to kind of fill that middle space out. So I'm gonna get this McPoker Tim right here, which this one comes if you couldn't see it in the thing there in the form of a chopstick. Mm, maybe I'm gonna use the skewer instead of the chopstick. The skewer is much thinner. All right, and now we're gonna take this just like we have with lotion beds, and we're gonna pull the sucker all the way into the middle like that. All the way into the middle. pedal design was now like you can continue to mess with this pedal all sorts of different ways okay like for instance like let's say we want to take some here and just do like a little a little halfway right there right like that or if you want you know you could take this you know you could take these all the way into the center too Whatever the heck you want to do, but this stuff will allow you to keep getting funky with it once it's up in there. How about a little too funky up in here? Alright, my nephew's trying to peek his head into the live stream and say hi um, so that everybody can see him. Why don't you come on over, buddy, and stick your face in the camera there for a second? You can only see it in the tiny little one that's there. There you are. You see it. 
Alright, now so that no one tries to sue me for having children in my live stream. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my sister's little rug rats right there. He's in watching the live stream as well. Okay, like that. So there, like we just made... That's a pretty psychedelic looking... Psychedelic looking pedal right there, huh? How about funky as you want to be? Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to set this one. Look at my hands. They're a total mess for making this stuff today. All right, let's move this. No, should we do... No, I'm going to save what I'm going to do to what I was thinking about doing to that to the next one. Okay, you all saw how to make that design. I'm going to move that right there. All right, and now we need another Frisbee. And let's... Well, you know what we haven't done yet? Mettings, hey now. Devin, hey now. Let's do... Let's do one of these funky split cups right that i was in the picture that i know got everybody all excited i found this pack of these on amazon that is five different split cups it comes with two three four five six splits okay i have found from using these that the five and six at least for this kind of stuff is too much okay the toughest thing is because it doesn't really come to a point here. It's trying to get them all to pour at once and not just turning into like a glop right at the lip there. So the two, three, and four work the best. I'm going to start with the three banger here. And let's just do, let's do the three primaries, okay? Let's do a red, yellow, and blue mix. Which I'll use this yellow up. And this was... This was Caribbean blue, I'll remember that, because we're gonna have to add more to this. A little, little bit of a little bit of gloopiness in there. All right, I'm gonna move this over onto this plate. All right, and then I need a red. I don't have any red out. How about, oh yeah, cherry right here. Let's squirt the cherry up in there and try not to make the lid pop off. Bang. Now I gotta top off. Top off. Where's the Caribbean blue? Caribbean blue, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, yeah, this was the one that was the disaster last time. Easy Caribbean blue. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, it's all over me. <clears throat> and here's the bright yellow. Top that bad boy off. Okay, now I'm going to do these, th this design twice. I'm going to show it to you once without putting a Floetrol bed down. And then I'm going to do it again with a Floetrol bed down. And it does It's totally different, okay? You can do totally different things with them. So here's... I'll tell you how I'm going to do it. So you can pour this out, in, um, again, a million different ways. And do it however the hell you want. There's no rules, all right? Make it funky. Make it too funky. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two hands so I can steady myself. And then I'm going to pour, trying to get it right in the middle. And then as I'm pouring, I'm going to do one of two things. Either pour and do this with it so it's going back and forth. Or little circles. Okay, it might be tough to see because my hand's gonna probably, might be in the way while I'm doing it, but I'm gonna let it all pile in the middle and give it little circles. Coming out a little gloopy, but it's okay. It's 
See, it almost kind of has like a psychedelic vinyl album look to it, like an old record. Is there anybody in here old enough other than my dad to remember actual LP records? <laughs> That's what these designs kind of remind me of. All right, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get one of my 600 paper towels right here, and I'm going to wipe off just the lip, okay, and keep this how it's, how it's going here. And now I'm going to fill it up again because there's no way in there enough dye mix to float a di I mean, there's enough in there to make a cool design, but without the Floetrol base... Oh, look at the, look at the booger hanging out. I got to get that. Yeah, there. This stuff likes to get gloopy. All right, watch out for that. All right, I'm going to... Um, so, like I was saying, without the Floetrol... Oh, gosh, there goes another booger. Yeah, that's what they do. All right. I got interrupted there twice. So, if I had a Floetrol base in there before I started pouring, I would not be doing a second one. But because there's nowhere a near enough... Floetrol dye mix in there to float a disc. I'm going to do a second pour in there to make sure that we got enough to like make full contact with the disc when it goes in. Now, when there's just when there is a Floetrol base in there, and you do this design, you really only need to do it once. It doesn't need it doesn't need two rounds of the dye mix. Okay, but this, I'm going to try to do this one a little bit, off, this goes in and pushes it all out. So I'm going to try to do it a little off center. No, I'm going to do it in the center of that one. Sean, I don't know about that screen for the flow trawl. Hmm? I was reading the chat box there. Uh. Um, but just hearing about it already gets me excited. <laughs> I can imagine what it is that you're talking about. Oh, no. Is it a no, I'm talking to the people who are chatting. Uh. <laughs> okay. Wipe this off again. Wipe that off. Put that right there. Put this. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Okay, now. This one. You, a, a million options what you can do. Like, you could just leave it like that. Or, you know, you could rake it like we did before with ins and outs. And make like another blossom type design. Here's what I like to do with these because it's already in this circular thing. Thank you, Sean. <clears throat> I'm going to grab it and I'm going to start to rotate it in like spirally circles. And if you do it like slow and controlled enough, you can typically get a pretty good spiral up in there, which with already with those like super thin streaky lines, it makes like a real tornado whooshing type effect, doesn't it? God, I love that one. Okay, that one is so much easier to make that swirly whooshy McThingerton when you don't have the flow trawl bed with base underneath it, okay? 
with the flow trawl base underneath it it's way better to do like blowing it all around the place and that kind of stuff but this one man does that look like you want to fall right into it wow oh, it's like a cyclone okay i'm gonna move this sucker because now we've made three beds Oh, that blossom is looking so cool right now. No, I got it right here, big dog. There goes the next frisbee. And on this one, we're going to do something similar that we just did with that pour, except I'm going to have a flow trawl base down underneath it. And again, we don't need a super thick base, just enough to like cover the bottom. Get that action go. And then I'm gonna just kind of spread this action around some. Like that. Give it a couple drops to bring the bubbles up to the top. Torch to pop them. And now on this one, how about we use the four banger this time? probably should have poured the four banger first so I could have done it in the middle. Here's what I'll do. I'll move this for just a second. Put this right here. And let's pick some colors. How about a little aquatic green to start off with? Aquatic. Green goes good with purple, right? How about, what's this one? Oh, this one is lavender. We'll use lavender next. You know what though? I'm gonna put lavender over here because it's so close in contrast to that green. I'm gonna put something like lighter in the middle there. Orange up in here. Okay. And let's do yellow again just because it's gonna be it's gonna stand out so much. Okay. And I'm doing my best. When I'm making, when I'm pouring this, to fill all these, uh, you know, all these different con compartments to the same level, just because then when you're pouring it out, th they come out more. E it comes out more evenly. Okay, watch. This does it a little bit different when there's a base. Now. Right now, like I said, you don't have to put a second round of dye in here. You can take it and blow it out, and this is gonna this can be enough if you spread it out to be funky. But I'm going to put another round of dye in there. Uh aquatic green. Okay, lavender. Holding the lid on. <laughs> okay, and the last one was clear orange. Okay. Oh man, this table's covered with stuff. <laughs> All right, let's give it another dump ski.
Wipe that sucker off. Okay, let's put this disaster waiting to happen over there. All right. Now we can again million things you could do now, whatever the heck you want. But with these, I like blowing these outward. <laughs> While spinning, oh, I forgot that's gonna sound terrible. It's gonna be hard to spin it at the same time, but. See, the blowing works so much better when you have the Floetrol base underneath it. You just got to be careful to keep sticking the same end in your mouth. <laughs> because sometimes you find that you, you dipped it and now you're putting the you know, crap inside your mouth. Whoops. All right, let me get this little torch. Some of that I might have blown a little too deep under. That's why I kind of muddied out in parts of this. I have so much more control with the with the other one, but there's one funky design. Let me get a disc. Oh no, all my discs are under these stupid bottles of dye. Move that stuff. Move that stuff. here that maybe we can stick in. I got a champion Thunderbird and a champion turn. The turn is like my favorite mold. This one's not my favorite. I know I'm not going to put a disc in there so I'm going to trade it out with the other ones that you guys can take a look at that we made already. Okay look here's that spirally one that we did the same type of pouring but with no base and then spun it around. Okay so you get an idea about that one. This one's getting super funky. It looks like outer space. That is the first one we did. That was the flip cup over top. And then last, here's our pedal looking all sorts of funky right now. Okay, I think I'm going in the outer space one right here. And I'm going with this blue champion turn. I kind of like this space a little better. I'm gonna drop this sucker up in here. Stamping off. Oh, nice. Okay, now I'm going to stick that in the food dehydrator to get ready for the next one. Okay, Champion Thunderburn. Locked in Thunderbird, locked and loaded. And now I got this Champion Turn here. Oh, this one's going to be nice. This one I'm going to try to do my best to kind of center with the spiral design.
Look how clean that design came out in contact. I mean, the def you can see like the exact same definition in that design. How dope is that? Now when I say hit it, I want you to hit it. And when I say quit it, I want you to quit it. Okay, look, that was the whole thing. Uh, look, I hope that you guys had an awesome time because I did. And yo, the there's so many different things you can do with these spill cups and funky pouring things and like when you don't have to worry about it ruining the microphone you can, <laughs> you can use the air gun but all of you cats that came and hung out with me on a thursday night you're awesome you're definitely my people i'm going to put these in the food dehydrator for two maybe three hours at a little over 100 degrees and i'm gonna take them out rinse them off and then i'll post some pictures so you can see it let's hit it and quit can we hit it and quit let's hit it and quit can we hit it and okay. quit And cat, <laughs> no one but me is excited. I got the James Brown buttons back, right? How about we just fade on out of here? Fade me on out of here, cause I gotta leave anyway. Fade me on out. I'm going. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you on the next one. And until then, you better keep doing it.